Good morning, sunshine. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. Today's topic is going to be on why combine your orders or another title would be the do's and don'ts of combining orders. So first of all, let me just talk about why it's advantageous to combine customer orders into one shipment. Well, it might be obvious to many of you or to most of you. However, there are still conversations happening on Facebook about, well, I can't, I don't have enough customers to do that, or I only have one small order at this time. So let me just address that first of all. Yes, there will be a growing um, requirement before you have a regular weekly combined orders. You may not have the clientele just yet to be able to do that as frequently as weekly or as frequently as whenever a customer wants to place an order. So what do you do with that until you can grow your customer base to that level? Well, first of all, you're needing to treat this as a business. You are not to be losing money in your regal business. This is no longer the regal that says, it's okay if I don't make any money. I want you to make money. Think of the extra things you can enjoy in life if you had just a little bit extra in your wallet. So let me just address the whole thing about if your clientele is not there yet where you are getting regular weekly orders. When your customer calls to place an order, you want to explain to them that they have two choices. They can have you hold the order until you have more orders to combine and that way they would save on shipping, but the downside is they may not get it as quickly as they want. Make that real clear. Secondly, you want to tell them by waiting, they are going to be able to save on shipping and that could be a significant savings for them. Your customers may not understand that initially, that you're treating it as a business, that you're being that um, blunt about, you know, you have two choices, you can wait or you can ship it now, you know, and, and pay the full price. So um, I just explained the benefits to them in waiting and combining. And so their second option is they pay the full price. And it's as bold as that. Um, if they wanted anything else online, whether it's from Amazon or whatever, yes, they have some special features too, but you have to say, or you have to be spending X amount of dollars in order to get that reduced shipping cost. So any uh, company that is advertising online, pretty much you have to pay premium shipping prices to get that product delivered to your door. And so if they want that premium service, having it delivered to their door and having just their order sent, then they will need to pay the premium shipping and do not be shy about telling them exactly what that price is. Yes, it might be a $10 item that's going to cost them $15, $18 to ship to uh, BC or Newfoundland, you know, anywhere that's far away from Ontario. And so they just need to understand the realities of shipping. We charge at Regal what we are charged by Canada Post and FedEx. That's the responsible, fiscal responsibility of the company to make sure that we are not losing money on every order that is shipped out. Okay, so that is what you do if you are not yet at the clientele level of being able to place orders on a weekly basis and make sure that there's always enough to uh, send together and everybody saves. The other item that I want to make sure that you all understand is that there is no reason why you should be saying you're only charging a dollar for shipping or three dollars or whatever it is and you'll pay the difference. Um, you need to again treat it as a business. So my recommendation is that you do what many of the ambassadors are doing and decide on what percentage you're going to charge them. Now you may um, gain a little bit on some combined orders because of the way you're charging the shipping and on others you'll lose a little bit but that's okay as long as it all balances out so keep track of how you're doing with whatever percentage you set so let's say you decide you're going to charge each of your customers six percent 
shipping cost, 6% of their full order value, and that's what you're going to charge each one of them when you're combining an order. When you're not combining, they pay the premium. Okay, so let's say it's 6%. That means somebody who's placing an order for $5 worth of products, they're going to pay what? $3. Somebody who's placing an order of $100 in product orders, what are they going to pay at 6%? They're going to pay $6. So it's only fair that the ones that are putting more weight into that package pays the higher price. Customers understand that and they will respect the fact that you're treating this as a responsible um, business owner. And so there you are with how you charge um, the shipping to each of your customers. Now. Having said the fact that you may not be there yet with the clientele that you need, with the customer base you need to be able to place orders as frequently as would take care of all of those concerns, here's something you need to be really focused on. How much do you want to really build your business? How badly do you want to add customers so that you will get to the point where Yes, you can be placing orders, combined orders, on a weekly or even bi-weekly basis. If you truly want to offer that service to your customers and you want to get past this point of really wondering how you're going to handle shipping and, and so concerned about how much they're going to pay for shipping and you may lose those few customers, when you have those worries, it's because you have so few customers and you're putting way too much pressure on those small few customers, expecting them to place orders even when they don't want to or even when they don't need to just because you are wanting to bring the shipping down for everybody. And so really what it boils down to is when you're in that mode of, of anxiety about the shipping, it's because your customer base is not where it needs to be yet. So get out there and make it happen. Sorry for the bluntness, but that's really what it takes. Get those extra catalogs. It's only $5.50 for 12 catalogs. Yes, plus shipping and taxes, but when you divide all the number of catalogs you're ordering by the total price it costs you, it works out to really very little per catalog and you will make that investment back in no time as you go out there, hand out the customers and handle it the way that we're teaching in 21 day challenge on how to present the catalog and then how to follow up with, with those individuals. And so you need to know exactly how to present the catalog and how to get the orders from them in a very comfortable non salesperson the way okay all right I'll get off my um, uh, platform here and uh, get on with the more exciting things let's talk about the do's and don'ts of combining your orders in order to really maximize the specials that Regal has for you in shipping okay first of all you are probably aware or need to be aware for sure that when you are placing an order of $150 or more in product order value, so not counting the taxes, not counting shipping, $150 in order of products, we give you $10 off of your shipping. Now for some of you, you are paying very little in shipping because you're doing that. And for others, you're even finding that sometimes you're paying nothing for shipping. So you continue to charge those percentages to your customers and you make a little bit on that particular shipment. It'll make up for the other ones where you choose to still go ahead and order when it's under the 150 and charge them their percentage, but it doesn't quite cover it. Well, you've gathered a little bit of reserve in what you've collected in shipping, so it's not a problem. Okay, the next item I'd like to highlight about the uh, shipping features that we have is that you can actually go in online, place those orders, and indicate that you want the orders to go with the previous order or even with a future order. And I'm going to go into details about the do's and don'ts of that because those are critical. Okay, and then the third feature I want to mention is that you can personalize your order so that every product that you order, you indicate which customer that's for. And when you get your package and your packing slip is in there, next to each item, it'll say the name of the customer. So how easy will that be for you to sort out who 
has what in that shipment. Okay, so let me just go back to the previous or future order feature. When you're placing orders for several people, you want to place the first order. And that may be your own order or it might be somebody else's order that is uh, with a credit card that they've provided. You go through the exact steps that you would as though they were the only order. The difference is when you get to checkout, you want to check off the option that says ship with future order okay and then that will reserve that order so that it will go with future orders now when you do this you need to make sure that you process the payment for that first order that you entered and that you pay the full shipping on it okay don't panic even if it's a high amount for that first order it's all going to be worked out before it's shipped out the door so go ahead and do the full shipping. Let us calculate what the shipping is for that first order and trust us that we will combine all the orders you're telling us to combine it with and we will work out before we charge that credit card, that first order for whatever payment method was chosen. Okay, so complete the order in totality, the taxes, the shipping, the payment method, everything. Next, you take your second order, you enter that, and then you choose the option of sending it with the previous order. So at checkout, you choose the option that says ship with a previous order. When you do that, it will drop another box there that asks for the order number. Your first order had an order number. Make note of that. When you do the second order and all subsequent orders that are going with that shipment, you enter the first order number so that everything is going with that first order, okay? Again, you go through and you calculate what it's gonna be for the shipping and, and your payment method for each of those orders and trust us to work it all out at the end when we know what's combined in that whole shipment, we will adjust the shipping for everybody. You don't have to do that. When you try to do our job for us, it really messes things up, especially when you are entering orders and not indicating any shipping at all. And, and it shows like eight cents for shipping or something like that. Please do not try to do our job for us. Our warehouse is fully aware of how to handle these combined shipments. So just do your job, enter each of the orders, make sure you check off the option of entering it as shipping with a previous order for each subsequent order and then complete all of them and we will take care of it from our end okay all right so let me talk about that third feature we talked about how do you personalize each item that you're ordering before you check out each one of those orders when you get to the last page another option that is there is number three which is gift options when you open the gift options one of the options you have is to enter a message and so what you want to do is have a message for that um, order and you have the option of saying you want that gift message to go for the entire order or to go for individual items you want to choose individual items and then it will show you all the items that are for that particular order and each order or each item in that order you want to put the names of the individual who have ordered it now let's say that, that whole order is going to one person then you only need one message for that entire order okay and you can put the name in that gift message box okay i hope that that's clear if there's any questions um, send me an email or if you're listening to this on Facebook, send me a, a comment on the post that this is on and I will address those questions as they come in. It's very critical that you are very, very clear on how to do these combined orders because it works to your advantage and to the advantage of your customers. So thank you so much. Happy shopping and we will talk again soon. Have a great day.